from Yaki. The tile razor head, also known as the Akari, the bolt handle, CNC machined, 316 stainless steel. We're going to shave with it, coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and watchers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeToon.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. We have a brand new safety razor in the shaving den, courtesy of viewer Alex Lopez. Alex, thank you very, very much. This is an awesome, awesome razor. Before we get to it, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home, check out all the other videos, and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, here it is right here. This is known as the Yaki. This is from Yaki, and it's known as the Yaki Tile Razor Head, also known as the Akari. The handle is known as the Bolt Handle. Now, together, from what I've read, and I went over to Mr. G's YouTube channel, where he also did a head shave with this, Look at some of the comments, look at some of the information that he had on his channel. Very, very helpful. So thank you very much, Mr. G. And I will link that video so you can see him do a head shave with this particular razor. But one viewer commented that the tile razor head, also known as the Akari, and the bolt handle together are known as the DeLorean razor. That's my understanding. Anyhow, overall weight of this razor on my scale is 3.63 ounces or 103 grams. The handle itself is 82 millimeters in length or 3.23 inches. It weighs in at 62 grams or 2.19 ounces. It's 12 millimeters in diameter. That breaks down to about 0 0.472 inches. Uh, on a scale of one to 10 for aggression, uh, I'm seeing that this is rated about a 5 or a 6, so only from, anywhere from neutral to mid-aggression, that sort of thing. So we're going to have a shave with it, and it is entirely CNC machined, stainless steel. The razor head looks very much like a Henson. Absolutely, it has that look, it has that vibe, no doubt about it. Uh, and it is CNC machined. Now, what's also nice is, is that... It comes with a buffer ring right there in the right there in the base plate and this buffer ring is a little smaller than your standard buffer ring that you might be using on your uh, standard uh, safety razor let me get this buffer ring out Come on, it's, just <laughs> it's it now now it's not cooperating ah there it is right there okay so there's the uh, there's the buffer ring right there let me get you another buffer ring that I use on my other razors, like my Parkers and my Edwin Jaggers and that sort of thing. And I'll show you the difference between the two of them. Let's try to get them lined up here. Okay, so there they are. Here's the one used on Yaki, and here's the one used on all my other razors. So you can see it's just slightly smaller diameter to accommodate the handle as it is seated into the base plate because there is a countersink there that is of a specific diameter. So this other, this other uh, O-ring, uh, buffer ring, is not going to fit. It's going to sit on top. You can see it's just going to sit on top there. See that? Whereas this one will just fit very, very nicely. It'll, see, it'll seat right into that countersink right there. All right, so just so you know, if you get the razor, and you have these standard O-rings, they're not going to work with it. So you might want to try to get some extra O-rings that are of this size that comes with the razor. Um, I think I may have a couple of these laid around. I'm not entirely sure. So I'm going to have to look. Okay, so we're going to leave that right there. Like that. Now, we're going to be using uh, Spearhead C4, C Ice Lime. Not sea spice lime, sea ice lime. And I have it right here in the mug with some hot water on top of it right here. C4 sea ice lime, which is the uh, menthol version of sea spice lime. And we're also going to use a Gillette 
platinum razor blade with this shave. Like these a lot. I have about two days worth of beard growth. Now, I did not do that on purpose. I just happened to accidentally skip a day because of my schedule. And this razor arrived at a wonderful opportune time. So we're going to see if it's going to take down these this two days worth of beard growth, say in two passes and maybe a touch up. We'll see. Being at rated at five or six, yeah, probably be neutral to a little bit into the mid aggression level. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, we're going to finish it off, obviously, with my alum block from Phoenix Shaving. With the no slip gear for the dry dock system. I'm going to be using my Doppler shaving brush. That is soaking in the uh, water right now, the Doppler shaving brush with the butterscotch handle. Thanks, Mom. And uh, I'm going to kick it off with the Cube 2.0, obviously. And for uh, aftershave splash, we're going to use Seaforth Sea Spice Lime. <laughs> Spice Lime. Uh, and uh, we're going to use Lemon Chill from Sterling. Ah, lemon lime kind of thing going on there for upstairs, just a little bit. All right, so that's what we got going on. So you know what? Before we go any further, I'm going to go ahead and load this razor right now. Here's my blade right here. Just pull it out of the packet. And I'm uh, going to get that razor blade in there. Okay, here we go. All right. Looks like a beautiful, beautiful... Uh, 316 stainless steel razor. Did I mention this 316 stainless steel razor and it's CNC machine? Yes, it is. And I'm assuming that is the same for the handle as well. The razor head I know for sure is CNC machine. So here we go. There is the Gillette. You can see that right there, the Gillette razor blade right there. And it's going to go right there. Now this is a slot and groove configuration. You have slots right there that fit into these grooves that do not go through. So it's a solid base plate on the bottom. I'll show you that in a minute. We'll just put this together here. And I want to make sure that that buffer ring doesn't slip out of there. So there it is there. End tabs of the razor blades, end tabs of the razor blade are enclosed in the head. And there we go with the handle. Boy, that's beautiful. And... <laughs> Very, very nice clamping. Really secure, just really snugged up well. Oh my gosh, look at that. That doesn't look very aggressive at all. I mean, the blade exposure doesn't look like it's anything to write home about. It looks like it's very... Blade balance and alignment are spot on, but I'm just saying it doesn't look like it's overly aggressive. Now, when we get to the shave, maybe so. Looks like the angle of the razor head here is really going to help find the angle of approach. So that's really nice, too. And I'm really looking forward to this shave. So there it is right there. Boy, that's absolutely beautiful. And again, it has that look, the similar look of the Henson razor. And uh, boy, Henson razor, very, very popular. This one has that look, 316 stainless steel CNC machine. Absolutely beautiful. And I like this handle. I like the, the knurling or the ringlets. Uh, the ringing that goes around that handle there seems to afford a very, very nice grip. We'll see what it's like when we get into it. All right, let's wet the face. Let's get to the shave. Okay, here's the Cube 2.0. And I need this shave. Believe you me. Okay. All right, let's rinse. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and move that around a little bit again. Work that in. Okay, glad I'm using the um, Cube 2.0 is appreciated because I really don't know what to expect from this razor. And if it is a little more on the aggressive side than what I'm used to, I'm glad I have the extra protection. We'll see. It might not be. It might be nice and neutral for me. And I like razors that are neutral and lower. So we're going to take this hot water and just dump it into the sink there. 
Here is my Doppler shaving brush right there. Boy, that's a terrific shaving brush. And we're going to go ahead and just load this. This shave soap and mug came courtesy of viewer Beth Jones. Thank you again, Beth. Really do appreciate it. Absolutely fantastic. If you get up to Spearhead and you happen to see this mug available, grab it. It's wonderful. If it comes with the Sea Ice Lime, the Seaforth Sea Ice Lime uh, shave soap, absolutely get it. It's fantastic. The menthol kind of builds a little bit during the shave, which is really nice. Okay, so there we go. We're just loading this up, and uh, boy, we're getting a nice brush load here and I like to load a little more so that I know I have enough for the shave during the video and at the same time I like to make sure I'm getting some cream building up around the inner inner rim there of the uh, of the mug like that and you can see it's get that little peak there that way I know it's ready to go oh boy and this brush is beautiful for face lathering I don't know, that mug really retained the warmth of that water there. Ooh, that nice warm lather, my goodness, that's fantastic. I'm going to get a little bit of water there on the brush there. Just need a little bit. Look at that. Oh man. You know, the Cube 2.0, the Doppler brush, and the C4, the Spearhead C4, C Ice Lime, all combined for boom lather right there. Look at that. Oh man, that is marvelous. A, a beautiful, rich, creamy carpet of lather. Boy, and this scent, this C4, C Ice Lime, or C Spice Lime, is marvelous. Oh, that is a beautiful, elegant kind of lime scent. Beautiful. Really like it. Rather refined. Oh, really nice. Okay, this is going to go back into the mug. Let, the, let it sit there. My razor is all set to go. We're going to heat it up under some hot, hot, hot water. This is the first time using it. Thank you, Alex Lopez. Thank you very, very much. Uh, folks, I'll have a link to this razor head below. And the handle. All right, that's got it. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Very, very similar feel uh, to the Henson. Absolutely, absolutely similar feel. I would think that this razor head well, you know, it's rather, it's very, very close to the Henson. Some would think it's a duplicate of it. Now, before the, uh, the shave, I was doing a little bit of online research. And... I have the Henson Mild, and I believe they were saying that this razor is a little more aggressive in feel than the Henson Mild. has some really nice efficiency. It's very, very smooth. All right, first pass done, let's rinse. Okay, that was two days worth of beard growth. And right now, I would say 
I'm not quite in socially acceptable shave range. Uh, not really, no. I might need three passes with this razor. We'll see. The second pass is usually my money pass, and that will tell me whether or not the shave is completed. But right now, I can tell you that two days worth of beard growth, it felt very mild. The razor felt very mild. It felt very similar to the Henson. Very smooth, easy to find the angle. And when I was off, it was easy to correct. So that really is a very, very easy to find the correct shaving angle with this razor. All right. Like the knurling on the handle, it's affording me a very, very good grip. I like the weight and I like the size. Let me show you the size difference with, say, uh, here is my uh, Envoy with the standard handle from Rex Supply. Okay, that will give you an idea of how, how, how that is compared to that. Here is my metaphor from Phoenix Shaving. Give you an idea. Okay, so it's about the same size as the metaphor right there. Okay. About the same size. I think the metaphor handle is a little thicker. Okay, so that kind of gives you an idea of the size of the razor. All right, we're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. And again, when I'm not hitting that angle, I can feel that I've slipped past that angle of approach. And it's not hard to get back on track to find it because of the angle of the razor head. Well, I tell you, that really does feel a lot like the Henson. Uh, the fact that, that that face, that angle, that angle right there, that face, has the same kind of uh, feel uh, when you're shaving. Very easy to find the, angle, the shave angle. Now the Gillette razor blade is platinum coated the Gillette Platinum. And I think that's a very good choice for me for this kind of razor. Forgot to mention that the razor head did a very good job of getting up underneath the nostrils on the north to south pass. This is just a little bit of cleanup here. Just a little bit. Enough slickness to do a little bit of buffing there. Second pass done. Let's rinse. I would say right now, this is darn fine shave territory. One minute, please. I would say this is darn fine shave territory. I would say the shave is done. But we're going to do a third pass. I'm going to go against the grain very lightly and let's see what kind of see what kind of uh, feel the razor head gives me when I go against the grain. Again, I have two days worth of beard growth. I would think that with one day's worth of beard growth, two days, uh, with one day's worth of beard growth, two passes, I'm done. That's my guess with this razor. Uh, all right, we're going to go with uh, pass number three. We're going to go south to north against the grain.
Wonderful, beautiful, smooth, close. Against the very on the corners of my mouth, uh, very lightly, no problem, no tugging or pulling there. And we got those hairs nicely. So that's pass number three. Let's rinse. That's a nice shave. That really is. That's a very nice, smooth shave. Very, very nice. Wow. That's terrific. We're going to go with my two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. A lot of nice slickness there, but boy, what a terrific shave. Very nice. A very, very nice shave. Okay, I'm just flipping into the cold water side. Okay, here's my cold water rinse. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice, that's a nice cold water splash. That menthol, give me a little kick there. Clean, fresh towel, waiting for me right here. Boy, that's a, that was a nice, Comfortable shave. Beautiful shave. Man. <laughs> that's a nice shave. That's a very, it's a very nice shave. Boy, that's, that was really nice and smooth, very close, no tugging or pulling at all. The Gillette Platinum Blade did a wonderful job. Uh, the angle built into the razor head helps you find the angle of approach for the shave. Uh, so you can find that blade angle. Uh, nice. Here's my Allen block, the no slip grip, and the dry dock system. Let's get some feedback. Here we go. Boy, that's smooth. There is no, there's no stinging at all. Maybe, maybe a mild, minuscule zing here and there. That could be bracing from the album block as well. Wonderful. Absolutely smooth as ice. Really nice and cool and smooth as ice. Terrific. We're going to go in the dry dock system like that and put that there so that it will be ready for the next shave. The air will just dry it out. Uh, here's my brush. The Doppler brush, the butterscotch handle. Thanks, Mom. This is, this is a wonderful, wonderful brush. Love this handle. Really assures a good grip. And the love the knot, the knot performs so well, especially for a face lather. And I love the way it splays out. And look, 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 look at that. Look at that. Now that's, that's Spearhead uh, C4 plus uh, CK6 right there. That is absolutely beautiful. Wonderful, wonderful lather. And I love this mug and I love this scent. Absolutely fantastic. All right, let's finish it off with some of the C4 C Spice line. I got to wipe this off because... I'm splashing like a hippo in a water hole. My apologies. <laughs> and this one, you have to shake up. You have to shake this one up. Okay. And this has a, a nice uh, moisturizing quality to it. So we like, we like this one a lot. Okay. So here we go. Yeah, it comes out a little milky white. Okay. Got that nice C4 
sea spice lime. Really, really terrific. Sea, sea spice lime. Sea spice lime. Sea ice lime from the shave soap, which is sea spice lime with menthol. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to keep that straight in my head. Yeah, they're both. The sea spice lime is great. The Seaforth Sea Ice Lime, which is sea spice lime with menthol, is wonderful as well. So here's a little bit of lemon chill. Just a little bit for upstairs. That's all I'm going to need right there. Just a little bit. That's great. Great shade. What a wonderful razor uh, from Yankee. This is, uh, again, the razor head and the handle together. Uh, the uh, uh, results in the name of the razor is the DeLorean, from what I understand. But this is the tile razor head, also known as the Akari, and the bolt handle. Now, again, it definitely looks like the uh, Henson razor head. It has the same kind of feel as the Henson. The Henson, when I first used it, had kind of a pad feeling to it. Uh, and I remarked, if you're coming from a cartridge razor to the Henson, boy, you're going to feel right at home because the cartridge razor has a kind of a pad feel. Well, the Henson has that too because of the angle here. This has the same kind of feel. This really did perform well. Look, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Two days worth of beard growth, uh, three passes. Uh, that tells me, and the smoothness and the mild quality of it tells me it's not a six. I don't even think it's a five, to be honest with you. I think this is about probably anywhere from a four to a four and a half, maybe a five. I'm going to have to shave with it with one day's worth of beard growth. That'll tell me. That, that'll, that'll tell me because I have two days worth of beard growth here. But my gosh, uh, I'm on my way to BBS. This is definitely a BBS shave. And again, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. A wonderful, wonderful shave with this razor. Uh, absolutely terrific. Now, Mr. G, hi, Mr. G, how are you? Uh, his video, he's using this for a head shave. Now, I looked at the uh, the specs on this, and as I say online, I'm looking at uh, where it's listed as far as aggression. Five to six out of ten, and I thought, man, if it's five to six out of ten, if it's a six out of ten, I may not use something like that for a head shave. You know what? I'm going to use this for a head shave because I think it's a four. I don't think it's a six. Again, I'm going to do a shave with this with one day's worth of beard growth. Uh, so that'll tell me. That'll tell me. And uh, this was wonderful for two days worth of beard growth. And again, uh, after the first pass, was not socially acceptable. That tells me it's on the mild side. After two days, after two passes, uh, I needed a touch-up, possibly a third pass. That tells me it's mild. And the third pass didn't result in any irritation or any overshaving at all. That tells me, my to my face, this is not a six. Maybe it's a five. I think it's more between, I think it's, it's either a four or between a four and a five. That's kind of what I'm looking at. Four, four and a half. That's what I'm looking at. That's where I think it is. Again, I, I say that with some caution. Going to have to shave with this again with one day's worth of beard growth, and then I'll know. But boy, oh boy, this was a wonderful shave. My thanks, my sincere thanks to Alex Lopez. What a wonderful razor. I'll find links for this so that you can get your own. This is, was, it was wonderful. 316 stainless steel CNC machine, uh, weighs in 3.63 ounces or 103 grams. Um, 3.23 inches in length or 82 millimeters to the handle. The handle 62 grams, 2.19 ounces. Boy, oh boy, the DeLorean with the tile razor head or the Akari razor head and the bolt handle from Yaki. Again, thank you, Alex Lopez. Really, really do appreciate your, that's very, very nice of you. Thank you so much for your support of the channel. Really do appreciate it. All right, that's it, folks. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so they'll give you the yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the great artisan soap makers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They sell some wonderful artisan shave soap. They make some wonderful artisan shave soap. They offer some absolutely wonderful, excellent shave gear. Please 
When you get a chance, give them all a look. I sure would appreciate it. Check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the products I review in this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.